Hey guys, Paradoxial here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 12 of our Making a Discord Bot in Python series. In this video, um, we are going to be going over on how to make a auto roll system or uh, basically a system that allows uh, the bot to automatically give a new member a roll as soon as they join the server. Um, we're going to use two different methods to do this. One method is if your bot is only exclusive to your server. Uh, the second method is going to be server unique, which will be using a JSON file. And that will be good if your bot is in multiple servers and you want each server to have their own uh, automatic role. So we're going to get uh, on to the first method here, which will be the um, local method. So uh, to do that, all we need to do is just uh, type in at commands.pog.listener. So this is going to be an on member join event. You may have guessed that uh, already. So a sync def on member join. And inside here, we're going to pass in self and then member. Uh, pass in self because we are in a pog. And after that, we need to actually fetch the uh, role we want to uh, give to our member as soon as they join. So to do that, we're going to create a new variable. We can just call this join role or auto role, whatever you want to uh, name it. And then we're going to set it equal to discord.utils.get. And we're going to pass in two parameters here. The first one's going to be member.guild.roles. And then the second one is going to be the name of our role. So um, in place of name, we're basically just going to pass in a string of the name of our role. So for me, my role name is just member with all lowercase. So that is exactly what I'm going to put right here. If your uh, role is upper, if your member role has an uppercase M, you'd want to put that in your code as well. So do be uh, careful. It is case sensitive. But without, with that out of the way, um, we are pretty much done here. Uh, only one more line to write, and that is await member.addRolls, and then join roll, Or whatever the variable name is. And uh, after that, we are pretty much done with our automatic roll system. It's just four simple lines of code if you are going the local method. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run our bot here, and shouldn't take too long so yeah our bot is connected and um, before we actually invite my test account to uh, see if it actually gives them the role uh, do be do make sure that your bot does have the correct permissions to give a role you can do this by going to your uh, bots default role so mine is yt underscore bot and then making sure that administrator is turned on or uh, manage roles is on if your bot has a custom bots role like this one does, uh, same thing, manage roles on or administrator on. So just like that, your bot is good to go. And uh, we are running. So I'm going to go ahead and switch accounts and I'm going to uh, join the server on my alt. And uh, it should theoretically give us that member role. So I'm going to go ahead and join now. As you can see, I'm not already in it. And yep. Yeah. It gave us the role, so uh, this does work. Now this is uh, only for local servers only. If your bot is in multiple servers, this um, this method of adding an automatic role will throw you some errors and just break and not work at all. So if you want your bot to be in multiple servers, what we want to do is, is uh, use the second method of uh, an automatic role, which is the server unique role. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and kick my alt because I will be needing to invite them again later. And we're going to go ahead and get started on our server unique method. So uh, to do this, basically all we need to do is just go ahead and um, remove these lines right here because we don't really need them. Actually, no, we can keep them. But uh, we're going to be coding a bit in our main file, so we're going to pass in two methods here. Or not methods, sorry, two events. So we're going to type in client.event, just like that. And they're going to be uh, on guild join and on guild remove events, so a sync def 
on guild join just like that and we're gonna go ahead and just write pass um yeah we're just gonna write pass for now because we need to create our json file and import it into our code so the first thing we want to do is go at the top import json just like that uh you don't need to pip install it is already uh installed with python and then we need to go inside our project folder somewhere just go ahead and create a new folder called json or if your folder already exists just go ahead and uh, create your json file inside there so i store my json files inside a folder called json that is nested in cogs so um yeah now i'm going to name my json file this autoroll.json uh, just like that and yeah and we're gonna go ahead and put in our curly braces because we do need those and then we can just go ahead and exit that now uh here we can go ahead and finish our event so i'm gonna pass in guild and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, type in a with open block so with open and then cogs slash json slash um auto roll dot json we're gonna open it in reading mode and we're gonna label it as F. Uh, I think it's the correct directory. So, cogs, JSON, auto roll. Yep. Alright, so we are good now. Now we are going to uh, define our auto roll. So, auto roll is equal to JSON.load. And then we're gonna pass in F or the label of our file. And uh, just like that, we are done. Now uh, we're gonna type in auto roll. And then. Um, str uh, guild.id just like that and we're gonna set it equal to none and we're gonna type in another width open uh, statement uh, cogs slash json slash auto roll all right just gonna copy and paste that and paste it into here except we're gonna change r to w and then just label it the same way now we're gonna type in json.dump auto roll f and then dense is going to be four so just like that we are uh, done with that event now we can just go ahead and copy this and then paste it into our uh, on guild remove event so remove and uh, the only thing we really want to change other than that is just take this here remove it and then type in dot pop str guild.id so this basically allows it to uh, delete that server's ID from the um, JSON file if the server kicks or removes the bot from them. This is pretty self-explanatory. This just appends it to the JSON file when the bot joins the server. So um, yeah, we are uh, pretty much done here. So we can go back to our automation.py uh, file here. And uh, we need to create a command that allows us to uh, set a role to our uh, JSON file or for that server. So we're gonna go ahead and type in commands.command. Um, and then uh, at commands.has permissions. Technically, you don't have to have this, but um, if you want like only certain people to be able to set the role, it's, uh, you know, pretty self-explanatory you might want this so we're gonna just type in administrator we're gonna set equal to true basically uh, what this does is that uh, anyone with an administrator role or uh, the owner role or anyone who's an admin or owner can uh, use this command and we're just gonna type in a sync def uh, join role we're gonna pass in cell ctx and then roll it's going to be this boy dot roll just like that and uh this is where we are going to come back here and just type that in again obviously with correct syntax and uh oh yeah be sure to import json here at the top otherwise uh it won't work so after that we can go ahead and type in auto roll and then str ctx.guild.id just like that and then we can set it equal to a string and then role.name just like that 
And then uh, I'm gonna copy this in as well. So yeah, just like that. And then we are done with our uh, join role. If you want to have like a confirmation embed, we can do that too. So comp embed uh, title. We don't really need a title. I'm just gonna put in a color. So Discord dot embed. I don't know what I was doing earlier, but oh well. Color is going to be um. Eh. Let's do green. So Discord dot color dot green. Just like that. And then comp embed dot add field. Or a uh, name. Whoops. Why is it capitalized? Sorry. Right. Name. There we go. Success. And then value. Right, it's going to be an F string, and we're going to type in the automatic role for this guild slash server as been set to, and then right here we can type in role dot mention. And then um, we are pretty much done with that. And then we can add a footer just to make it look nice, I guess. Doesn't really matter if you add one or not. Text. So it's F string. And then action taken by. And then ctx.author. You can also put the name at the end if you want. Uh, this basically just strips the uh, discriminator from the user. If you don't know what discriminator is, it's basically that hashtag and the four numbers after your name. Um, but if you leave it as ctx.author, it leaves those four numbers there. So it's just up to you. I'm just going to put just name. And then, uh, yeah. And we can go ahead and await ctx.send. Await ctx.send. Embed equals comp embed. Uh, so we are now done with that. Now on to our on-member join role. So we need to uh, add a few more lines of code here. So I'm going to copy and paste this just like that. And now uh, in place of name, we're going to remove that string there. And we're going to type in auto role. And then uh, str member dot guild dot id and then just like that we are uh, all good to go and then this could just stay the same so yeah that was only the that was really the only main change that we had to do so uh we are pretty much done here now so now we can just go ahead and run the bot and uh in theory everything should be just fine yep all right, so I need to copy the ID of my role. So I'm just going to copy ID real quick. And what was it set? Or was it like join role or auto role? I think it was join role. And then just paste in the ID. So that's good. Now, if we look in our JSON file, as you can see, um, our bot has appended this role name for our uh, server, which is, this is our server ID, this is the name of our role, pretty self-explanatory. Now, uh, just to test this out, I'm also going to add this bot to my uh, other server. So I'm going to go to the bot's profile and I'm gonna invite it to my main server, actually. Yeah, that's fine, I'm just gonna uh, put it in our main server here so just give me a second guys i gotta paste in that code i'll be right back all right guys so i just added the bot and uh, i think it's in here uh yep so we added it sick all good and uh if we go ahead and look in our json file again so right here as you can see this is my main server house of cold and it sets a null which is basically a uh, none same thing as that just uh the reason why it says null is because uh, json actually was made for uh, javascript when it first uh was made invented whatever you want to call it but uh, it's been uh used in all the other programming languages as well 
So when you see no in your JSON file, just know that that means none. So yeah. Alright, now with that out of the way, I'm going to also go to my server here, and I'm going to type in join role. Actually, we're going to go bot commands for this. So join role, and then the um, we're going to take in the ID of that role. Do that, and we are good. So now if we go look in our JSON file, we have member with a capital M, member with a lowercase m, so now we are going to test out this by um, going to our server here. I'm, I'm going to send the invite to this here as well, so that way they have both. Uh, yep, yeah, we're good. Alright, now I'm going to switch to my uh, alt account here. So... I am uh, pretty much good to go, so if we go to here and I'm going to join the server. As you can see we are automatically given our member role and uh, it is the role that we set in our JSON file run it but while running that um, one command. Where is that? Right here. Join role. So I'm going to go ahead and join um, my house of code server as well. I need to where am I? I'm human. This is so stupid, guys. <laughs> I guess because it's a new account. So, uh, come here. As you can see, we have been given the uh, role member with a capital N as well. So, this is uh, working just the way we want. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Now we can go ahead and just leave that server. <laughs> So this works perfectly, uh, and that's just about it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, today wasn't very much code at all, unless you were uh, going the other route of having it be server unique instead of local. But uh, either way, this was a pretty easy uh, thing to implement into our Discord bot. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me lately. Again, thank you guys so much. If you uh, enjoy videos like this, subscribe because I uh, upload at least twice a week now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.